Hi everyone, when I make a video I'm usually using this Zoom H1 sound recorder. Now I either use the built-in microphones or I plug a lavalier mic into the side, basically a clip-on mic that goes onto my shirt. Um, now one of the problems I have with this microphone is where to put it when I'm recording. I always end up putting it on a table and then when I stand up I pull it off the table or I put it in my jeans pocket and uh, you know I risk breaking this off or sitting on it. So what I want to do is make a clip that goes around it. Um, actually this will slide into the clip and then it will clip onto my shorts or my jeans or whatever I'm wearing. Uh, it's going to be very simple so I'm just going to use Tinkercad.com to design the 3D file. Now for those wondering where the update to my 3D printed car handle um, project is. Unfortunately I lost the files, the 3D design files and after spending so many hours on that project I'm kind of not feeling too good about going over it all over again. So I put that project on pause for now but uh, I think we can get this one done really quickly. Um, another addition I want aside from holding on to it and having a belt clip is I also want to have a circle area where I can wrap around this cable because it's actually a very long cable um, and I always end up kind of folding it up and trailing it everywhere and it's kind of a hassle so hopefully we can come up with something good. Now I've sped up the footage here but basically I'm just using a bunch of box shapes. Um, I'm setting the width to the measurements I took of the H1 and then using a box hole to make a hole in the middle of it. So it's a really basic design. As you can see right now I'm just trying to line them up so that I get an empty holder which the H1 can slide into. And now I'm just doing the bit where the wire can wrap around. This is really quite sloppy work, I'm just rushing through it, so there's no critical uh, measurements here apart from the width and height of the H1. So you can see here that I actually thought I'd finished, but then I realised that I haven't actually put the clip on it yet, so I came back to design and put the clip on. It's not even an angled clip, uh, it's just very basic, but it works fine. So, you know, this was all about just a quick design that I can throw together very quickly. Of course, I did end up making some revisions to this, um, but this is give or take what the final design is like. As you can see, I'm just having one last look around to make sure everything's okay. And then I'm going to export the file and 3D print it. I'm making a couple of changes here, but nothing significant. So here's the finished print. Now I must admit I've made a slight mistake here. Um, when I measured the Zoom H1 I didn't take into account this slightly raised bezel here. Um, so when I try and put this on it's actually too tight and it can't get past that point. Um, which is kind of a shame. So what I did was I went back and I changed my design a little bit um, and I actually came up with two different designs or two revisions. So this was the next one I printed um, which fits much better. You can see that it goes all the way to the end and then it can hang. But the problem with this one is that the I also shortened this bit so that you can still see the screen, access buttons, etc. But the problem with this one is that it only has a small area to clip onto your belt there. So I made another revision, and that's the final revision, this one here. 
which is the great thing about 3D printing. You can print, test, print, test, and it's a pretty quick process. So this is my final design. You can see it just goes on there like that. You can still access the side buttons. You can still access this, still see the screen. The only thing you can't access are these switches on the back, but I never changed them anyway, so it's not really an issue. And you can still plug in your headphones and your microphone, of course. And then this front bit, like I mentioned, is for winding the cable around, which is great. So then that can go up my shirt and clip on. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and this is basically gonna be the final design. I've already uploaded this. If you want a link to the file, just check the video description. You can download and print it yourself. Uh, it's gonna be really useful for me. I'll just clip it on and show you how it looks. So now you can see I have my mic here. It goes under my shirt and it goes down to the H1 here, which just clips on. So you can see like that. And I have my belt here. I just slide it over the belt and now that's in place. I can pull my shirt down over it if I want to conceal it or I can just have it like this so that it's showing. And you can see it's very simple but my cable's neat um, so I'm not going to be sort of wrapping it around things while I'm walking around or shooting the video. Um, my mic's here and <laughs> I really like it to be honest. It, it works so well. It's, it was such a simple thing to throw together. Barely took any time at all. Yeah, I made a few revisions but I'm happy with it and you know, as far as I've seen, there's nothing else that I can buy locally that does this. So for me, it's even more useful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.